Damn it, I hate it when, you know, you have all these quiet moments, all this story, and then suddenly they throw, like, a high action scene at you, and you're like, what? I'm not ready, my fingers aren't even on the buttons, for Christ's sake. Give me a break. Hello from Tokyo, my Jade Warriors. Isaac here, and we are back for some more Walking Dead. Yes, we are in a very precarious situation. We are stuck between a tanker and a train, a rock and a hard place, a very large explosive device, and a very fast-moving vehicle. What will happen when the two collide? Only time will tell. What do you guys think? Is that what's going to happen? Are we going to just ram the train into the tanker, burst through the massive fireball on the other side and then just proceed to savannah or are we going to try and more strategically remove this tanker from the tracks let's find out i'm very keen to to see how we're going to deal with this scenario this ain't shit this yo you keep screaming like that and you're Whoa. gonna get your face chewed off are you guys gonna hey. be trouble because hey. we could have just kept walking okay hello no we're friendly Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. <laughs> we know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there. We won't let them escape. All right, let's be careful here, gang. Look before you leap. This is pretty crazy. They Fuck seem all clean there. and happy. You better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. Oh, that's very welcoming. It's very reassuring. A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now. What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. <laughs> It's been a bad day. Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! Oh, you're very perky, man. What are you doing up here? Do you know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's your name? You ain't oh, taking a man. Oh, so he Don't gets get any persuaded. ideas. Oh, this is great! See? Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, huh. he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? Hmm. I came across honest. Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? Huh. I uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? Kenny lost his wife and kid. Actually, I sh probably shouldn't be so <laughs> divulging times? of the facts uh, I don't know, after uh, just meeting four? these guys. Maybe two hours ago. God damn. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. That train Actually, is I shouldn't beautiful. have done that. We'll help you with it. But if we see anything we don't like, yeah. we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Damn, God. Come on, Lee. Ask a little bit about them, at least. Thank Let's God. Let's go talk to your people, man. Oh, me? What? This guy's way too perky. Am I going to have to tell something. your people the plan or what? Am I going to have to tell your people the plan or what? No, but you could tell me a little bit about yourself, for God's sakes. Jesus. I just divulged a shit ton of info to you. No releasing it. No nothing. Bugger, eh? Uh, anything else up here that we should be aware of? Oh, they've got a generator. It's empty. And they got a truck. Folks probably had that way with that van a while ago. Let's open up and double check anyway. Anyway, let's make sure they've got no skeletons hiding in their closet. Hmm. 
Can we open that second door? Empty. That's what I feel. Okay, fine. All right. Arr, all right, let's go talk to the gang. I don't want to leave Clementine up here. Come on. You can't be serious, man. You're just going to... Man, I hate seeing bad things incoming. Oh, no, thank God. Guys, this is old Mead and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we're not looking for charity. Mm. We could help you guys, though. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get Let's to know the it. girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens? Really, Ken? I don't... It's probably for the best. We just met these guys. Aren't you going to at least Someone learn a little bit about of of that station back there, too? <sighs> Sounds great. Let's oh. do this thing. Oh, God. Who are these people? We know nothing about them. Oh, this is ridiculous. Come on! <sighs> Fine, let's go look in that station up the way. But I don't want you talking to Clementine. Not until at least I know your M.O. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Where are you from? Yes, are you finally. From? San Francisco. Ah. A long way from home. I blame the one in there. <laughs> he wanted the great American road trip. Yeah. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who the hell is into Civil War history anyway, other than old white guys? <laughs> well. Wonderful. You two will be thick as thieves. Hmm. <laughs> what were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. And maybe exactly. we won't be around for a while. Hmm. Yeah, well, she pried in the owls. We'll just return him the favor. Now. You got this girl shooting guns? Look, I don't need a lecture. You weren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Yeah. Alright. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. <laughs> Alright, let's go to talk to Omid. Seems like an interesting individual. Where was he? He was over here. He was in the train, right? Is that him in the window? I think it is. Let's go have a look. See. I still feel like just ramming the train into the tanker and going through it in a ball of flames is the best option. I don't know what that does yet. Don't touch it. Huh. I said, don't touch it, jackass. <laughs> it's like duck. You like Civil War history, huh? Fuck yeah. What do you know about some Quantrill's raid? Well, it happened about a thousand miles that way. Well, yeah. And we're headed the other way. But if it's somehow not crawling with the dead, there should be some cool things to see. Huh. Excellent. Don't tell Krista, though. That won't be as big a selling point for her. Okay. <laughs> Seems like a cool guy, but I'm a bit wary to trust anyone so quickly in this game. Hmm. How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while, and then, you know. That's rough. Her cat is going to be pissed. <laughs> uh. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a fucking scrapper. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds, tens, sometimes. Huh. Learning the ropes can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. Talk to you later. Uh, Kenny's yeah, still coming to coach with his Teaching him anything? Loss. Trying to. Alright, you guys have got that covered. I guess it's time for me to head up the road! Check out that station. See if there's any supplies or food or napkins in there. Alright. Heading up the tracks. Oh, no, I'm not heading up the tracks. Oh, yes I am. I'm heading up the tracks. 
So yeah, while we're doing some walking Can about I the place, you, over there? you don't like oh. the new girl. I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, yeah we're a team, all Clementine. Right. Come on, Clementine and I are checking out this train station. All right, hustle over if you hear anything. All right. Yay! It's the winning pair. The two of that are gonna be gonna be there at the end. Survivors inside, huh? How many? Let's have a look at these signs. Dubany fine silver. Ooh. Yeah, while we're walking around the place, guys, I'll ask you today's question. What is your favorite zombie mythos? What is your favorite, you know, origin of zombie cause? Is it the classic kind of just grave, you know, dead, the dead rising from the grave, the classic, the original? Is it like your biohazard, you your Resident Evil, trying to open doors. government, bioweapon, infection? Luckily it's locked. We'll get better at working together. Or is it the... Uh, the, you know, like this, the Walking Dead, everyone's already infected and we don't really know how it all happened. You like it to be a mystery. What is your favorite zombie origin? How would you guys, how do you guys like your zombies? And yeah, do you like them slow walkers, fast runners? Do you like the variety of different types like in a Left 4 Dead game or something like that? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. <sighs> Hmm, won't burn. For me, I guess it would have to be... I like the, the runners, because it makes it a lot scarier. The runners are pretty awesome, like in 28 Days Later. And I do like having a variety of zombies, like in Left 4 Dead. Or in, like, Dead Nation, or something like that. They're pretty, pretty cool in those games, and it makes it more exciting and more of a challenge. Alright, how are we going to get inside here? But yeah, I think um, my favorite. Uh... Oh, what's going on here? Come on, there's got to be something to do. How are we getting inside this place? Ah, here we go. Paint cans. Can we smash a window with them? Somebody was doing some painting. Yes, they were. Can we take the cans? No. All right, fine. Hmm. Yeah, I think my favorite all-time type of zombie, I guess. I love the fast runners, like I said, with 28 Days Later. But in Siren, if you guys have watched my Let's Play of Siren or have played Siren Blood Curse yourself for the PS3, those zombies, the ones that actually still have conscious thought and mumble to themselves and literally, you know, they desire to eat people, are the scary ones, like the the ones that I, I like the most, especially like in that game when you jack into their brains, it's it's pretty scary stuff to like think, hear what they're thinking. Their desire we'll to eat to flesh is kind of scary. I've been looking and I haven't seen anything. Is there any way to like get on the roof or? Oh, I hate getting stumped. Don't stump me, game. Oh oh, there we go. We got a small window. Oh god, are we gonna? We're going to put Clementine in there, aren't we? Maybe I could look in? Uh, damn it. It says survivors inside, so there's at least some people in there. Alright, sure. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Yeah, just peek, Sounds though. Good. Just peek. <clears throat> see if she can see anything. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? So how about, what do you see? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. Yay! For real? I think so. Good on ya, Clementine. She's so smart. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> it's just a deadbolt in the top right of the door. Alright, let's do this! Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to tell you that. <laughs> Be on your guard, man. You don't know what's in there. It's 
Almost sounds like claws on wood, or is it just the door closed? Dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I would like that. I'll prop it open with something. Alright, with the paint can. Yeah, with the wrench. There we go. Beautiful. I knew I had that thing for a reason. Yay. Okay. Let's have a look around here. We got a blowtorch. Very nice. Why do we want to look at an empty shelf? They didn't have much business back then. There you go. Let's open this cage door. Locked Get that blowtorch. Ah, more. I need a key. What do you got to say, Clementine? How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the taker out there. Mm. Any ideas, young one? Well, there's got to be something useful in here. Yeah, that blowtorch will let us cut that tanker loose. There's ah. some space up there, but not much. Ah. We're lucky I'm so little. Here we are. Uh, just check. Make sure there's nothing in there. There are keys over there. For the gate? I hope so. Hmm. Guess the people that wrote Survivors Inside have abandoned the place. Can't reach them from here. No. Alright. It looks like the cage is empty. Clementine should be safe to crawl through You okay there. going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. The keys are on the opposite wall. Grab them and let's get this gate open. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. What's wrong? What? What? Behind Look you. behind you! Zombie? Zombie, 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 zombie! Oh, shit! Come on, Clementine! Come on, Clementine! Oh, whoa, left one, left one! Uh, oh, W, back, 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 back! What? What? I, was I was pressing! I was pressing the S button, guys! Ah! Oh, hey, I need that intestine! Uh, Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. I was pressing S, not W. Oops, my bad. Let's try that again, shall we? <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Oh. Damn it, I hate it Come when, on, you know, you have all these quiet moments, all this story, and then suddenly they throw, Where like, a high-action scene at you, and you're like, what? I'm not ready. My fingers aren't even on the buttons, for Christ's sake. Give me a break. All right, I remember what button to press this time. <laughs> All right, do, 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 do. get away from me, Mr. Zombie. Get away from me, Mr. Zombie. Thank God I dropped the gun in there with Clementine and pull out the wrench. Oh, uh, I don't, what? Say what? What? Say what? Oh, what was that? Oh, come on. Arr. Oh, these guys, they're asking for it. Go on and grab the key. Time to bring out my rocky fighting fists and punch oh, these zombies scared. down. You, you ain't getting the third Behind time to you. do that, gang. You guys are going down this time. Come on. Eye up, tiger. It's time to kill these zombies in the face with my fighting fists. Oh, yes. They're gonna die, these bloody zombies, but I guess they're already dead. Bloody zombies. And wrench, get the wrench. No, not again. Oh my god, I am sucking at this. Oh, snap. Snap. Oh, I don't think... Lee can't have many intestines left in reserve, I'm telling you guys. Alright, I gotta get that wrench quicker. I gotta get to that wrench a lot faster on, than what I am. Scoot. All right, come on, Clementine. You should have called out zombie. It was like three seconds there, girl, that you saw them and you didn't say nothing. God damn it! And call out how many you see. All right, come on. This is it, guys. Third time's the charm. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of this place. Get away from me, zombie. Get that wrench. Come on, get the wrench, man. Don't just look at it, for God's sake. Oh, my God. Don't just look at the wrench. <laughs> oh, my God, gang. 
I do apologize for such a noobish interlude in our otherwise epic playthrough of episode 3 of The Walking Dead. But let's leave that episode there for today. Don't worry, I am going to pawn this in the very next episode. Thank you very much for tuning in, guys. I really hope you've been enjoying the series so far. Please answer today's question. What is your favorite zombie origin? And please like the episode. Be guys, please, please subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, gang, Ojikan no Otanoshimi. Jane, Kyotskete, Matashtane. Bye bye.